came from and the the medical care that she requires now. Lucky is probably over 40 years. Uh, from what I understand, Lucky came from a home and she'd been there for many years and then she went right into the refuge and the refuge was around for, I don't know, 15 to 20 years. So I'm going to guess that Lucky's about 40 years old. Um, Lucky has a chronic lung condition, lung disease, and she also has heart disease. Uh, the recent ultrasound revealed that she had fluid around both her heart and her liver. So she's on medications for that. Uh, her lung disease, we're not quite sure exactly what it is, but in order to confirm the diagnosis, we would have to aspirate. We'd stick a needle into the, into the, um, the growth and then have that tested. So, the, so uh, they think it's lung cancer because of the way it's growing and there's been uh, a couple of other people looking at the, the x-rays, so I don't know, that's whatever it is, it is. There's nothing, both conditions that she could have, there's nothing we can do for any of them other than what we're doing right now. So first of all, Lucky has a uh, ICU unit from Lion Technologies. It provides heat and humidity. And right here, it's set for 84 degrees Fahrenheit and 39 degrees relative humidity. The most, it's, it's been set so that it only goes as high as 85 and won't go over 50 degrees relative humidity. And if it does start reaching those things, then um, an alarm will go off, so I'll know. Uh, so she slides in there nicely, and then if you see over here, this is where the oxygen comes in, and this is where the, the blue thing with the mist is where the nebulizing comes from. The nebulizer is a special nebulizer. Uh, this one, this is a, I just got this one recently, but it has a, this one, this is a, I just got this one recently, but it has a finer mist that comes out. So, a uh, finer mist may help her more. Anyways, that's all I, I want to make sure I got everything the best for her to, so that I know for sure I'm doing everything right. Uh, over here we have the oxygen concentrator that's hooked up um, through a tube and then comes into here so usually I give I put her in here after her medications because that's when she's really sleepy and she just sits there nicely uh, when she's when she's tired of it she'll she'll kind of start picking at the glass or the plastic doors to let for me to let her out um, but as you can see, she's pretty comfortable right now. She likes this room because it was the first room that she came to when she moved here. And uh, with all the, I used to put her in the window so she could look out in the kitchen, but it's just so much to move and she's just as happy here. So, I, so she gets this twice a day for sure and then in the middle of the day she also gets some time in there if I feel like her cough is really um, prominent. Uh, Lucky gets five medications. One is Medicam and that's for the inflammation. We've got another anti-inflammatory but it also decreases cell growth so that would help if there's any cancer cells in there that slow down the growth. She's on uh, two heart medications or uh, medications that take away the fluid in her, or the fluid around her heart. And she's also on uh, a heavier painkiller to keep her comfortable. Um, I, I can play with the painkiller. I have, I can go up to a certain amount. So if I feel like she's, she's having a worse time of it and, she, and it's bothering her more, then I give her a little more. So there's lots of wiggle room with that so she can relax if she needs to. 
So anyways, this is Lucky Lou's setup. Here she is, cute as a button, being such a good girl. 